Welcome to Linux in the Shell, episode 17, the split command. My name is Dan Washko. I'll be your host, and I want to thank Hacker Public Radio for sponsoring the show, and I hope that you sponsor Hacker Public Radio also, either by listening to the episodes or contributing. Uh, Hacker Public Radio, it's made by people just like you and me, and it's where the real tech is, let me tell you. Good stuff over there. Let's talk about the split command. Split command will split up a file or standard input into uh, a number of smaller files. Uh, very simple command, really practical. Uh, I've had to use this in the past for transferring files when my media uh, was very limited on the space I have. So I have a file in here, an Arch Linux ISO, and just to show you a quick thing uh, of which you can do a split, uh, it's a 415 meg file. Now let's say I wanted to split that up into uh, a different uh, files of 50 megs a piece, and if I just pass it the dash b 50m, which stands for megabytes, it will split this um, ISO up into 50 or uh, files of 50 megabits a piece. And in just a second, you will see the results right there, and you see that each one of those files is 50 megs in size, except for the last one which is 15 megs. Now also notice that the naming convention, XAA, XAB, XAC, and so on, X is the prefix, AA is the suffix. And by default, the prefix is X, and the suffix is an alphabetical suffix of two characters, starting at AA and then going ABAC, and then when it wraps around the alphabet, it'll be BA, BA, BC, BB, BC, BD, and so forth. Um, that's the way it goes. By default, split splits on lines, and that's what the dash L command is. It splits on lines of a thousand, uh, so it'll it'll split it up on a, a thousand lines there. Uh, and I have a file here called last one. If I run the WC command on there, you see it's 72 lines, 312 words, and 1,428 characters in there. Uh, so obviously I don't have a thousand lines in this file, so if I just ran split on it, it wouldn't really do any good. It would just create one file, because it's less than a thousand lines. So I'm going to specify 20 lines instead of on last one, and when I do that, if I do WC uh, L line count on X, you see that now I have four files, three of which have 20 lines, and the last one is 12, making up 72 lines. Pretty simple there. Uh, that's splitting on lines with the dash L. I can also split on character lines. Um, so again, notice that there was 1,428 characters in there. So if I wanted to um, split this up into seven files, if I did my math correctly, I can do split dash C for character count, 204 characters, last one, and I should get Seven files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven files. Ooh, eight files. <sniffs> Didn't cut it cleanly. Ooh, but it still it cut it up into different characters, uh, character line bytes. So uh, a, a way to show this is let's get rid of those. Let's do split C5 characters, uh, last one. And you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of files in here. So cat XAA, cat X, A, B, and so on. You say there's five characters per file in there. Um, you say, Dan, there's only four characters in here. Well, don't forget the space is counted as a character. So we've talked about splitting on bytes, uh, line by, line character li lines, and character lines. Let me say one more thing about bytes. Um, split B, uh, let's see, four K for kilobytes, M for megabytes, G for gigabytes, and T for terabytes, and then there's petabytes, yettabytes, and so on. Uh, that's on powers of 1024 are those letters. If I did KK or MK or G GK, that's uh, powers of a thousand bytes instead of 1024 bytes it's just powers of a thousand so so be aware of that is a little different right there okay we've talked about splitting a file but one important thing I want to talk about is getting a file back together uh, so if I did split uh, lines of 20 my poem 
Ah, split lines of 20, last one. I'm sorry there. So we got four of those files. Uh, if I did, you use the cat command to bring them all back together, just like that. Cat X, pipe it to uh, um, restore, or file, whatever you want to call it. And now if I do WCL restore, you see it's 72. If I do a diff against restore and last one, they're the same file. So you just use cat to bring them back together. So let me get rid of restore. And let's talk about another aspect here. Splitting up a file, um, default is X and a two character, X is a prefix, two character suffix of, of AA, alphabetical characters. Um, we can change this if we wanted to. We can do uh, split line 20, last one, and call it my poem. And now, instead of X, A, well, let me get rid of the X, A's. And let me get rid of my poem. I should have cleaned this up. And let's rerun that split command. And you'll see here, instead of X, A, A, X, A, B, we have my poem, A, my poem, A, B. And, and you see that line counts and such are, are the same for those files as they were for the other files. Uh, so that's specifying a prefix. So we get rid of those. Um, let's let's mess around with the suffix. Notice that it was A, A. I can mess around with the suffix by going uh, split, L20, last one, my poem. But instead of a numeric uh, alphabet, alphabet prefix, I'm going to do a numeric prefix. And you see now it's my poem 00010203. Uh, we can even further augment that by changing D. If we want to start at a different number from 00, we can do numeric suffixes, which is and specify a number here. Now, I, I've tried to do like dash D5 and it doesn't work. You have to actually put numeric suffixes equals and you'll see now that it starts at 0, 05 instead of um, 00. Now, we covered that and let's go back up here again. Now, let's talk about uh, changing the uh, alphanumeric suffix. You can do dash A instead of being four char or two characters, you can specify like four. And when I do my poem, I have A, 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 B, A, 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 C, and so on. So that allows you for more flexibility in specifying the suffix length. Uh, now you might be saying to yourself, hmm, damn, what, what happens if I uh, specify a suffix length and I run out of suffixes? Well, let's see here. If I were to split on characters, like one character per line, and do uh, last one, you'll notice here, I'm getting a lot of X files and default it's just going to keep expanding out. So what if I did this instead? Um, let's go back to that command C1 and A suffix length of just one. Well, I get an error message that says suffix exhausted. And you see it tries to do it, but it exhausts the suffixes. So that's uh, that's one way of, um, that's one thing to be aware of. Final thing I will say about the naming of the file. Let's go back to this one right here. Uh, let's see, this one, A4, last one. You can actually even pass an additional suffix with the additional suffix option equals and then whatever you want to. I would say from, like that right there. So my poem now becomes my poem AA dash from, and it depends the additional suffix on the end. All right. We've talked about naming. We've talked about splitting based on size. Now let's step back a second and talk about another way of splitting files. Let's clear up my screen here. Let's talk about splitting files by specifying how many files you want to split it up to. Very simple. The end command. So we say let's split up this uh, last one by uh, four files. Dash n means split by a number of files. Four files is what we want. And when we do that, we see oops, WCX, we see that it's split it up into four separate files, each of 18 lines apiece. And they're, they're pretty equal because we, we chose a file with a, it had happened to have an even number across the board here and was divisible by four. Um, so that worked out for us. So you could I could have specified uh, split and five, last one. 
and run the WC command, you notice that you got a little bit different values here uh, because it's an odd number and splitting it not equally. But it split it up into five different files. So um, just be the, the dash n does that. Now there's a few other options you can pass to the dash n command. And the first one is uh, a format like this, split dash n k slash 5. Like this would be k slash uh be kind of k slash five last one what what you do is you actually replace the k with a number so what happens here instead of writing out the files uh x a x b x c you know so on it it actually splits it up like it would but instead of writing the files out it's actually going to write the second file out to standard out so right there is what the second file would be and i'll prove that to you by doing split l uh, split n5 last one so uh, we actually have the x files in here so if I did cat xab and then I did split n5 uh, or 2 slash 5 last one we're getting the same output there you could actually see that it is the same output what k does that k option in there is it it splits it and it outputs the numbered file that you want to standard out instead of uh, writing all the files out uh, to standard to a, a file. Um, there's another option here. Let's remove all the X's. It's split slash N L and some number and then last one like that. So what N L does is I say this is going to split uh, on a number of smaller files, but it will not actually split lines. It will preserve lines. So what I do here is five, and you see that these are all. It's preserving lines. It's not actually splitting on separate lines right there. Um, not an easy way to tell, but that's that's the format of what it does. There's one final one that you can do, which is split n. LK slash number last one and this will do the exact exactly what you spec it will not split on lines and it will take like the second file and output it whoops what's my what's my error here NL where am I where am I going wrong here NL invalid chunk number nl there we go sorry nl slash two slash five so it outputs the second file that's created when you when you spread them across five okay final option that i'm going to talk about on split and that's round robin splitting nr okay round robin splitting i'm not going to use um last one this is easily done by let's look at uh, a file i think it is okay cat file uh, has, has 10 lines in it uh, if i did split and five file what i get here is cat x right there um ls if i do cat x a a cat x a b and so on you see that it, it splits it up like that um, so let's get rid of cat and let's get rid of those and let's do split and r slash five file. Now what this does is round robin. You'll see that cat x a a is now one six. Cat x a b is two seven. So instead of it going um, the first two two lines in the file be like file one be zero one zero two file two would be zero two three zero four it's spreading them out that it writes it so that file one is the first line file two has the second line file three has the third line file and so on so it does a round robin of all these right here splits it up uh, just like that now you can you can do the same thing that you do with round robin with the L option or I'm sorry the, the, the K option I believe which will uh, output the file so if I did um, Two, oops, sorry, it's nr slash 
two, it splits it out to standard out instead of writing the file. So that that is uh, pretty much all the different ways of splitting up files with split. The last thing to talk about is um, I said it was going to be last thing before, but no, I'm going to give you one more thing, and that's the filter option. So if I did split L uh, lines 20, last one, uh, that will create four of those or five of those files in there. But I can actually pass this using the filter command to a command like this, and when you do like cat, when you pass it to the filter command, um, the variable is named dollar sign file so when I hit enter it just passes whatever was going to be split up into the, into the outline so that's split in a nutshell I'm gonna finish and stop here and split myself and I hope that you enjoyed this episode and learned something from it and thank you for paying attention have a great day